Hey guys, it's Mason Wesley, and this is part three of my contest entry for Chili Pancakes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Okay, I hope I said it right. So, um, I really hope that um, you like what I've made. So, um, this is a kind of unfinished project. I still have to get thicker wire for it. But it's a Oz the Great and Powerful balloon. And once I get um, wire, it's going to hang up like this on it. And this is a recycled light bulb. I turned it into a hot air balloon. And then this is recycled cardboard. I don't know what that's to. Sorry about that. And the charms that will go in the basket is in the movie... I haven't seen it yet, but my little brother saw it, so he told me what's in it. He brought his bag. Here, I don't think you get to see the detail on it. Let me. There we go. And these are not oven baked, sadly. So he brought his top hat. And he brought his compass. So I made those three charms to go with it. I just need to get thicker wire. And I handed all of this on here. Hand painted these, hand painted the back, sculpted everything, hand painted that. So yeah, that's a kind of unfinished project. Um, and then my this is for a contest I entered recently, and the girl doesn't log on and won't talk to me. So yeah, before I show you that stuff, I um, decoed this squishy, and as you see, the face will peel off. It's a, it's a, now a kawaii football. I really like it. It's like so squishy. On to that thing. So my theme of it was Nightmare Before Christmas because I love Tim Burton. I know I'm weird. Call me a nerd. <laughs> so first I made this upcycled book. It's just black. So which means upcycled means like it was recycled but reused for something better. So, I have a picture of Jack and Sally up there on the hill, and I hand sculpted all these cool edges. And then it's the Nightmare Before Christmas. And on the inside, I, would, I did um, Life's No Fun Without a Good Scare, and that's one of the lines. And then I did this out of paper. Then I made these um, skeleton reindeer antlers. Because that's what Jack Skellington needed to be Santa Claus was reindeer, so he had the professor make him reindeer. And this is the like a headband you can wear. Um. Okay, I have lots and lots of charms. This is I had like a couple of random charms in here, so I'll just show those first. I have this really cute sock monkey holding a cupcake. Not a big. Everything else I think is. They have this Jake the dog from Venture Time. Originally, it was supposed to be Memogoma, but turned like out to be like this. Kind of random. Okay. So, the, the villain is Oogie Boogie, and I made this Oogie Boogie. And the reason he has so many stitches is I made a story that, in the end, Jack ends up um, pulling Oogie Boogie's strings, and all the bugs that put, kept him together fell out, but a couple of them survived and regrouped. And that's why I have so many stitches. So, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Here, let me try going in this corner. It's, you probably can't tell, but it's glow in the dark. It's, like, really cool. A lot of these are glow in the dark. I'll tell you which ones are. Then I made this super, super detailed um, duck toy that Jack Skellington gave away to the kids and it's cool because you can move its head so it's like a real toy and I um there was blood in the movie so I got blood on there really detailed and I hand um detailed the wood and I was it's pretty it's not the greatest but you know I like it it's pretty good And yes, it is attached to an eye pin. It's not like it's just hanging on there. Then, I made this glow-in-the-dark Sally charm. You probably can't see it. Sorry about any background noise. 
it's a pendant. It can sit like this or like that. Lots of detail on her. It's, it's not very pretty on the back because it's a flat back charm. And I made this jack. And originally it had wings right here. Like, the, like Jack Skellington, as you can see right there, has them. But, and then I'm sorry about it being so dirty right there. Funny story about that. This arm fell off right here, and I was trying to super glue it back on. And my finger got super glued to it, and it ripped my flesh off trying to pull it off. So my flesh is literally on this. And um, as you can see right here, the bat eyes, and then right here is coat. I don't know if people will see it. I want you to... But it makes an evil smile when you put it in the dark. See? Smiley face. And it glows that. Those are the only two things that glow in the dark on him. Next, I made this spider plate. It's a spider web plate. And then to go on it, I made this macaroon, my own design. It's Jack's going to on the top. And in the middle is Halloween Town. Sorry about any background noise. And then the bottom is Sally and it's glow in the dark. And it fits nicely on the plate. Okay. Um, I'm saving that for last because it's my favorite charm in here. Then I have the three trick-or-treaters of Halloween Town. The three best trick-or-treaters of Halloween Town. I don't remember their names. But there's this dude. This dude. And then the witch dude or girl I think it is <clears throat> so yeah there's three of these <clears throat> <clears throat> then I made this Jack Skellington head <clears throat> with the bat <clears throat> sorry my, I keep kind of clearing my throat <clears> this goes with the um, duck it's this bat a jack-in-the-box bat um I have only like a couple more things. I just made this random glow in the dark Jack Skellington head. Sorry about any background noise. Again, I'm, I apologize, but I live in a house, so yeah. And then I have this Jack Skellington head, not much. And then I have a panda bun, which is randomly in here. I don't know why. And then I have, lastly for this, Jack Skellington in a Christmas hat head. And I actually made these really cool hills. Um, I'm going to use this as a deco piece. But it was a charm and it had this moon on it like right here and it glows in the dark. But now it's like a deco piece I guess because I can't glue it back on. As you can see I made it, I made the same charm twice. But it broke. <laughs> okay let me just put all of these away real fast. Oh I have one more charm to show you. I almost forgot. Second let me just kind of And you mentioned you wanted a couple of the charms I made, and I will trade those to you in our our buy, our get we're gonna send you, and I can use those in our trade, so I have more items for you. So yeah. And lastly, this one is my absolute favorite charm I've made ever. It's an Emily from the Corpse Bride charm, and she glows in the dark. If I actually have a whole video about it, so you can go check it out. And as you can see, it's like really really detailed. And this took me like two to three hours to do. And she, her skin and her dress glow in the dark. So the light blue here on her crown. And then here. And then here. And on the dress glows up. And I really love how she turned out. It's pretty big. It's a flat back charm. And I worked so hard. It's so detailed. And I think she turned out beautifully. And kind of matching that, I made this. Um, you've probably already seen this. This Emily figurine. This is a chibi version. I put it down so I can open up the case. And this is a upcycled Cinderella. And I hand sculpted it. So yeah, I really like how she turned out. This is a recycled Cinderella. So I think this is pretty good for being Cinderella. Her arms can move. But as you can see, it kind of like cracks right there so that's why I just don't move it so let me put her arm back real fast let me smooth it out over it real fast there we go 
so this is my Emily, and as you can see, she has her skeleton legs and everything, her skeleton leg and then her skeleton arm. Her ribs still coming out. The only thing I didn't do is like the cut right there. Not well, the cut, but the um, teeth showing. I just didn't want to do that. And the reason she looks so sad is because she's waiting for Victor, her true love, to come and find her. And this is in the waiting period where she hasn't met him yet and he hasn't met her. I have eye pins randomly, so yeah. <laughs> and on to paintings. The, um, this is my Nightmare Before Christmas Jack and Sally painting. I used a recycled piece of wood. This is just practicing. And I used a oil paint marker on here and here. And for the back of the sun. And then I handed all of this in oil pastels and hand detailed all of it. And it's like really pretty. There's my signature right there. It says tie. Or at least set it up for you. I really love this, how this turned out. It's really pretty. I'll sleep that there. Next, I have this oil painting I did. There's my signature again. Ty. And it is a, like, seascape with that little island on it. And first I'll show you the detail in the water. It's, like, really pretty. And then the sky turned out really beautiful. I loved the sky on this one. Then I have the island, and it's, like, really textured and, like, really pretty. And I paint this all by hand. So, yeah. And I have one more thing to show you. Tell me if you want me to do one more video, because I have drawings, but I don't know if you want to see them. I might. You know, I just will. So, I'll make a part. I think it could be four. I think so. <laughs> Anyways, this is my last... Thing for this video because it's going really long. It's this oil painting with my signature gram. It's o this oil painting and this is my mom's favorite painting. And if you look, this tree is so detailed. It's just beautiful. And it's actually a recycled canvas and had that ugly turtle painting on it that I, I did forever ago. Yeah. So I just painted over it and it turned out really beautifully. I'll let you stare at this charm that I love. Oh, it's not even a charm, it's a pendant. Anyways, so I'll be working on part four. Um, thank you so much for having this contest, and I really hope I have a chance to win. So this is Mason Wesley. Thanks for watching. Bye.